In order to be awarded a merit for your assignment, you need to meet all the pass criteria, but in addition to this, you need to go into greater depth. For example, the first pass criteria for learning outcome one requires you to explain the key roles and responsibilities of the marketing function. The first merit criteria expects you to go a little deeper than this and analyze the roles and responsibilities of marketing in the context of the marketing environment. So the first obvious difference is that you need to provide an analysis here rather than a more straightforward explanation. You need to think about the significance or relevance of the points you are making and make reasoned judgments about which roles and responsibilities might be the most important or the most relevant in different situations. Not all aspects of marketing are equal in all situations. For example, place may not be as important as promotion to a company selling entirely online. So start to think about which roles and responsibilities are likely to be the most influential in different situations and which can be given less attention. And of course, provide justification for this. Note here that this is a first merit criteria is asking you to consider all this in the context of the marketing environment. So make sure you have a good understanding of the marketing environment. Perhaps think again here about the PESL, political, economic, social, technological, legal, and environmental factors, and how these might influence an organization's marketing activity. The second merit criteria asks you to analyze the significance of interrelationships between marketing and other functional units of an organization, which has moved on from the PASS criteria, which asks you to explain how roles and responsibilities of marketing relate to the wider organizational context. Analyzing the significance of interrelationships is about deciding which interrelationships between marketing and other business functions are really important. Telling us why you think they are important and providing a rationale or evidence to support your opinion. The third merit criteria, which relates to learning outcome two, asks you to evaluate different tactics applied by organizations to demonstrate how business objectives can be achieved. Here again, this criteria asks you for an evaluation rather than just a simple explanation or description. You are asked to identify and evaluate specific marketing tactics that businesses use to achieve their business objectives. So do some research. Find some examples of different marketing tactics in use. Then describe these in your assignment to show or demonstrate how businesses use marketing to achieve their business objectives. The fourth merit criteria asks you to produce a detailed, coherent, evidence-based marketing plan for an organization. Compare this with the PASS criteria, which requires you to produce and evaluate a basic marketing plan for an organization. The main differences here are, first of all, you need to produce a detailed plan and one that is evidence-based. So more detail about how you would use the marketing mix elements. And then some evidence, maybe examples you've seen from other organizations to justify why you are using the marketing mix elements in the way you are suggesting. In summary, in order to achieve a merit, you need to, first of all, meet all the past criteria, then go into greater depth, provide an analysis rather than just an explanation or description of the ideas you are presenting. Make reasoned judgments, for example, about which roles and responsibilities of marketing might be the most relevant in different situations. Have a clear understanding of what the marketing environment is. Identify and read about specific marketing tactics that different organizations use. Then evaluate rather than just describing them. And for the final merit criteria, build on the outline plan you produced for the past criteria four. Then provide evidence to support what you are recommending.